Anthony posted a comment on my recent video. That audio is not false. I don't see a video about that. Apparently, I was supposed to make a video about the alleged recording of the Michael Brown shooting. You are pretty. You're so fine. Just going over some of your videos. How could I forget? My reply was, don't post comments while refusing replies, which is a good comment for all my viewers and commenters. And then I ask, what about the audio? First, we don't know if it's authentic, but let's assume that it is. What exactly do you think it proves? I don't hear a long pause before the last two shots. The second group of shots is apparently a volley of four shots, and they sound quick. What conclusion are you drawing from it? And... The thing is, I make videos often about things that the media neglects to report on, or that reports on incorrectly. So CNN, like I just showed you, already aired the recording. I don't know what more I could add to it. And they did qualify that they weren't sure it was real. They also said that they had no indication that it wasn't real. Let me just say, that it needs to be said, the lawyer who uh, is representing the man who gave us the audio uh, gave it to us. She swears it is real. We have no reason here at CNN to believe that it's not true. CNN did a pretty good job because they did have experts on one saying that they believe that the recording could be a, a hoax. No, I've told your producers that for all I know, this is uh, something that one of Howard Stern's uh, punk people ha have been doing. If you listen to what the gentleman's saying and then the gunfire and so on and so forth, I look at this and I say, my first inclination is someone is trying to punk uh, CNN. Hmm, I could it, be wrong. It smells it could funny be real. To you. Hopefully so, we'll, we'll find out. Well, hopefully we will indeed find out. One guest points out that CNN could be punked. And the other guy also mentions the possibility that it's a hoax. And then he also makes the point, this recording doesn't seem to add any credibility to either side. When I heard this yesterday, I thought, I thought the exact same thing. It's a hoax, but mm. maybe not. Maybe they'll be able to authenticate it. If they do, let's take the assumption they do authenticate the tape, then it supports both sides. Right, and that's you can the make thing. an argument to support both sides. So, What exactly does this recording prove? Whatever you want to think about the Michael Brown shooting, as far as guilt towards the officer or towards Michael Brown, the thing is that the Brown family lawyer doesn't have the right to lie about the autopsy. That was the point of the video. So regardless if you want to believe that Michael Brown was murdered, the lawyer doesn't have the right to lie about the autopsy. And I wouldn't have made that accusation if I wasn't 100% sure that he lied. Listen to what I say in that video. Please use the YouTube tools to share this video with everyone you can. Click on the video and then share the playlist. Subscribing to this channel helps boost this platform to help get the message out.